Hey guys, it's Houdini's mom here, and uh, just wanted to film a video on what I have learned from going through four bouts of gut stasis with Houdini since he was little. And this is kind of our arsenal of weapons. The most important thing is the medication. I am not a fan of medication. I don't take it myself. I'm adamantly against it, but obviously with rabbits, gut stasis is so critical. And medication is one of the most important parts when their gut stops moving. Sorry about the cat's paw in the video. Who apparently Jelly Bean wants to be part of this tutorial. So here we have what I use is um, left to right Medicam, which is usually given once a day. Houdini is very sensitive to pain. So um, at one point he was prescribed Medicam twice a day. Also gut stasis can cause pain. Gut stasis can come out when they are in pain. Gas relief. I love these baby cymethicone, uh, baby gas relief drops, cymethicone, Walgreens. You can give one up to one milliliter multiple times a day. I'm not a veterinarian, so definitely check with your vet before, you know, on any of this stuff. I'm just giving you my experience of what's worked for Houdini. Uh, Cisapride and Reglan, the two gut motility drugs for the upper and lower GI tract. And then my uh, exotic vet also prescribed lactulose. I know vets are a little bit different on the different advice they will give, but I found that this is um, pretty similar on uh, what they're prescribing. Critical care. I got the banana flavored and I mix it with a little bit of Whole Foods organic uh, apple baby food. Houdini hates force being force fed. Uh, this he should be getting about two of these several times a day. He usually spits everything out, won't swallow it, um, fights. So it, I'm lucky if I get one of these size in there. He also hates the large plastic syringes, hates the large piece in his mouth. He's about a four pound rabbit. So I will try to aim for about two of these. I usually end up with maybe half of one of these in his mouth. So the most important thing that I do, which I cannot do myself, I have to go to the vet for, is number one, Get them x-rayed, make sure there's no blockage. If you give gut motility drugs when there is a blockage, you can literally kill them. Subcutaneous fluids. This is my secret weapon. Udini hates being force-fed and will not take force water either, hardly. So I immediately go to the vet. There's actually an emergency vet right down the street from me. And I will go there as many times as I need for sub-Q fluids, a big fluid bubble behind the scruff of his neck that slowly absorbs. That helps keeps him hydrated. He usually ends up with some type of hair problem, hair mass, even though he does get brushed. Um, but he also grooms the little dwarf rabbit who sheds a lot. So it's um, his gut stasis has definitely been influenced by the shedding season. Pineapple, fresh pineapple juice. Um, I'm not convinced that it necessarily helps, but it doesn't hurt, and because he doesn't get a lot of electrolytes, um, I will give him two small syringes. Now, these small syringes he actually likes, uh, or at least will tolerate, and he will take his medication, interestingly enough. He will not spit out his medication, but he will spit out food and usually water. Um, so here we have the lactulose, the two orange lactulose, and reglan. And then the cisparide is always a very small amount, 0.1 milliliter. The gas drops, um, I have, and uh, are a milliliter. And then Medicam once a day, and so he's getting 0.26 milliliters. 
Hi, why I have here, and obviously it's contraindicated to give rabbits any treats. The only reason why I like knowing what their favorite treat is, like these little papaya pellets, um, is that if he is starting to refuse food or eat a lot less and eat very little, I know things are critical when he refuses a treat. So the thing that I like about knowing what he absolutely loves is when he refuses a papaya treat, I know he's very sick. Besides the hunched posture, um, eating less, um, you know, minimal pooping or no pooping. We have been trying to move him over to herbs. He loves parsley, so this is a great time when I pull out all the herbs that he loves, parsley, arugula, especially if he's not eating any of his pellets or hay. He's always been um, challenging to try to get to eat hay. He, I've never seen him drink water, probably once or twice in the time I've had him, so um, I try to leave some water on the leaves when I wash them and give him that. So that is our arsenal and um, we just wanted to share that with you he's going through about now he seems much better today so I'll probably administer this sorry about the cattail in the video um, Houdini or jelly bean is eating there but I will probably um, give him his medication once today he was doing binky jumps last night in the yard, so he is feeling better, but still not pooping enough and not eating enough. So I need to keep this up. I have done this as much as um, every four hours, force feeding and force watering, and then obviously the medication is um, by what it, the label says and what your vet tells you. Usually the medications are twice a day. Some can be given up to three times a day, depending on the medication. Medicam is usually once a day. What I will say is don't give up. Don't give up. There was a time when he did not eat or poop for almost five days. And I just consistently, slowly, persistently kept up uh, every four-hour schedule, including belly massage, very important. And um, he finally came around. I was at him for about two weeks. So... Uh, I will try to link below my favorite uh, research article on rabbits and gut stasis that really, really informed me. And I wish you guys and your rabbits all the best of luck. God bless. Bye.